Welcome to ptlarts.com. I'm Patrick Tannerley. This is my studio in Brighton. So I just wanted to introduce you to module one and explain what we'll be doing. So module one is about what you need to be able to complete a painting. So I'll be talking not just about like objects and things that you need, but also just a way of thinking about things. So in module one, to start with lesson one, I'll be talking about what we need to paint to begin, well, this course, but really just to be able to start painting what you start to need thinking about. Um, then lesson two, it will be about like where you paint and the importance of where you paint. Uh, and that will grow on you as you begin to go through the process, the importance of like your environment that you work in becomes more and more important the deeper you go into finding your process, finding your style, finding the means by which you complete your work, which I'm excited for you to do. And then, like a little bit of technical stuff. When I say technical stuff, it's like this, with the computer and stuff, I'll be introducing the type of equipment that it's good to have, that's all affordable, that you've probably already got, otherwise you won't be watching this, I expect. Um, and then finally, in module one, we find an object to paint. So what I wanna work on in this beginner's course is like a simple landscape. So just bear that in mind, a simple landscape. So actually when you start to paint in one sense, nothing simple, but as far as like composition and getting things together, somewhere to start that is straightforward, but I'll cover that in lesson four. So that's module one. Welcome to module one. Um, and so to start with, um, I'm gonna get a canvas together. So separate really from these lessons, and it's like an add-on, and I'll do more information and a blog, etc. that all come over the next period of time. I said period of time. So the way I do it is, these are stretcher bars. So you can buy stretcher bars uh, like this, hope you can see. You can buy stretchers. These are standard like 18 millimeter ones. Um, and you can buy them in different thicknesses, different sizes, etc., etc. So you can choose the size of canvas you have. So this is just one way of doing it. Now, just so you're aware of like my process, I find that by getting familiar with like the materials and the substrate, and by substrate I mean canvas, because um, we'll be working on canvas for this particular course. Of course you can paint on paper, you can paint on wood, you can paint on all sorts of things, but we'll be doing canvas. So I find to get your own, materials together, one, it's a lot cheaper, and two, you know what you're getting. It also means that by the time that you start to put paint onto your canvas, onto your whatever it is that you're gonna paint, you've made a relationship with it. And painting is all about relationship. It's all about getting to know what you're working with. So it's a really useful way to do it. So I put the stretcher bars together, which is dead easy. They're made to do it. You can buy them by the box, these things. Various different, various different places. I'll post some options for you at some point. Eventually, I'll be like selling them for, through my website. 
um, but not yet. Um, so you can buy these relatively inexpensive. Um, so to make up a canvas, really, for me, probably cost two pound or uh, two and a half dollars or whatever way you want to look at three dollars. So you can buy like print rolls of canvas, like print roll canvas, fairly cheap. You can buy one roll of it and it'll do loads and loads of canvas. Or you can go to a fabric store and buy like calico and use calico. Quite often fabric stores will sell pieces of material for artists. So be brave. And then, so I've also bought this piece of kit. There's two bras actually. There's this piece of kit which helps me stretch it. So you might not be at all interested at this stage. They're like skis, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so I'll put these on and they help me give me an even stretch on the canvas. So it's just something to think about. Um, it really does depend whether you, how much you develop your arts practice. I just wanted to drop that in, in the introduction of module one and I'll see you on lesson one. So that'll be going more into the details. I'm gonna stretch a canvas now for us to work with. Thank you.